One image per eye. Exactly. The big advantage is that you're not... Like in theaters, if you don't know, watching 3D movies, or even at home, watching 3D movies. You don't have crosstalk. Yeah, you either have these polarized glasses or shuttered glasses, which are like the best version of it. Either way, you're trying to force your brain into thinking it's 3D based on like doing this basically very quickly. Yeah. Uh, And it always creates eye strain and never really works that well. And and it also, every, every other method increases the brightness dramatically. Decreases. Or, uh, sorry, yeah. decreases. Yeah. So this is um, the other big problem. Yeah. You... Uh, but with uh, a VR headset, you get the full image, you get the full brightness. Um... So it's an individual feed per eye, so you just don't have the eye strain. And so... So from... wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Back to the T-800. <laughs> James Cameron... Yeah. ...just got on Boz and talked about his new workflow, his new vibe. Full picture, both eyes... Well, that's why he that's why he's seen VR as the future is because yeah. it's the optimal way to watch it. The only yeah. VR, in a theater, the in, no, no, not is in not theater. optimal. It's, yeah, in James Cameron's vision, the best 3D that I ever saw was at um, a Dolby Vision theater when Star Trek Beyond came out in 2016. Ooh. It was the first Dolby Vision 3D I'd ever seen, and it was incredible, incredible because they use. Dolby Vision uses laser laser vision, mm-hmm. and they use two distinct uh, projections, so one per eye. Right. So it has the maximum brightness you can get, and it was truly immersive. However, it was still using polarized glasses, 